Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another episode of Service Factory. This is our final factory. We've reached episode 4. Uh, I did a small little modification here. Actually a few. I extended that platform, put another miner in there. It's not working at this point. That tile, let's call it in there, is just a signal where I'll have uh, my next iron out. I've took those 13 ingots from there. They will merge into this one tonic belt, which is saturated. Put them up top, brought them in here, just to deliver them at the end. Merge them in here, at the end of the line. This way, these boys will never miss the iron. And uh, I will not need our Mark III belt in there, for now. We still need that mark freak bells for the screws in here but that's a totally different story these boys have been working a bunch in here uh we have 125 of this amazing smart that we need to send up in the space elevator just to have our phase one completed so let's go and deliver them okay Here we are, put them inside, seal, I don't know if Ada is going to talk with us now or not. Yeah, she is. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 1 Project Part Shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are, automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing Phase 2 of project assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore, and exploit for a better fix it future. So let's send it up. We're gonna take a peek at that thing building. When we're gonna get downstairs in there. So right now it's gonna be sent up. Uh, let me not fall, please. Okay, get sent up. Uh, check this one out. Epic, I'm telling you. Impressive, isn't it? Nice. Phase one of project assembly completed. This is only the beginning of project assembly, the first step towards saving the day. You have performed adequately so far. Reminder, not only is Fixit saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. It is statistically likely that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and or puppies. Continue the work for their sake. Continue the work for Fix It. It is time to start the work on Phase 2 of Project Assembly. So, for the Phase 2, we're gonna need a thousand smart plating. They're being made. A thousand versatile framework. We're not doing any. And a hundred automatic wire. We're not doing any. What we're interested in is coal power. This is the first thing we're gonna get. Basic steel production just to get the steel beams and the steel pipes because we're gonna need them and then blueprints blueprints is the last one in this line because we need oh my god we're gonna need to build the module frames it is nice we need module frames and we're gonna need the steel beams in order to make the blueprint designer so let's go with the beginning coal power we're gonna need to put in there a bunch of stuff apparently 
and just send it up, you know? Milestone reached. Power production can now be fully automated by burning coal, which has been added to the resource scanner. Water is also necessary to run the coal-powered generator and will require a network of pipelines to be transported from a water source. To assist with locating and identifying water, Fixit has compiled this guide. Water is a somewhat reflective liquid and it may have thick vegetation growing nearby. To test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is probably water. Amazing, isn't it? So, we're gonna need, let's say, eight of these for the beginning. I think they're gonna suffice. Uh, and three water extractors. I think they're gonna suffice until we're gonna have um, the blueprint designer. Because we're gonna need that blueprint. That's the key for our easy life in here. I've made a bunch of blueprints. So it should be fine. Uh, I've got a bunch of cable. Let's grab some more wire. What else? We're gonna need a little more concrete. Let's take like that. Do I still have space? Yes, I do. Perfect. Fill up on those. Uh, 200. More than enough. And plates, of course. Perfect. We are filled up. Let's go and make it happen with our first coal factory. Show me. Coal power plant, should I call it. By the way, how do you like this? When we're gonna have a roof and some lights, I think it's gonna be looking good. Until then, well, not so much. But it's fine the way it is right now. Looking forward. To having this coal power in here that will make me sleep easy basically what is that strange uh, lights in the water maybe Ness is here i don't know so our coal it's in here we have four nodes i'm not sure i want to build it on the water usually i do we could do that i would like to put it up top nevertheless up top in there and grab the water from here and pump it in there you know like that shelf for example use it but that's one node two nodes the other two are in there the other two in there i'm thinking grabbing them and sending them up top to our base just to make the steel nevertheless somewhere around here i don't remember exactly where there is a pure iron node so i think we're gonna make some steel happen in here no, those are the two coal nodes. All of them are normal. Those two, this two. I think the pure node of fire is somewhere around here. Actually, it's kind of easy if you think about it. Let's scan for it. This one, it's in here, in the back or somewhere. I don't know. So I'm thinking, let's put a platform in there, and the steel in there, with that iron, that coal, and then I don't know, send up top. To our place, only the ingots, and have our production of pipes and beams done in there. Also, I would like to do that with foundries and with limestone. We have a limestone node in here, around there, it's a normal one. So, yeah, we're gonna leave those two for the steel, and we're gonna use these two for the power. The initial power will be made from here. After that, I think we're gonna move all the way at the end of the map in there. In here, we get some, I don't know, two pure and two impure, I believe, something like that. It made our coal power in there. And that should be enough until we're gonna unlock fuel power. That comes with the plastic. Then we got in here a bunch of pure nodes. We can make it happen with fuel generators. It's gonna be a minute. So, let's take care of the issue at hand, which is this nodes in here. Okay, so we're gonna need two amazingly cute miners, these boys, which apparently I cannot make because I was so stupid that I didn't left any space in my inventory. So we're gonna do the right thing, dump that, 
make one portable miner. Okay, uh, do they stack? Yeah, they do. Amazing. Perfect. Uh, let's put one of those in there. So up or on what? Flip? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I like to have them on top in there. Nevertheless, we're gonna need something like free water extractors. We could bring them from the up top. Yeah, let's. No, let's. I don't know. Just gonna put those in there like that, and we're gonna go with the usual way build them on the water. That is because that's gonna be a ton easier. Good stuff. Uh, no point in merging them with me things. 60? Yeah, 60. So we're gonna need the 120. Let's put the power in. I forgot to bring the power. That was so stupid. It is what it is. Welcome to the channel. This is BAG for you. So let's continue from that, please. Show me. And I have one power point, one in there, and we'll think about the rest. I'm gonna bring my belts through here, and we're gonna continue with our platform from there in there. Deal? Deal. Perfect. You will have to come in here somehow. You will have to come in here. Whatever. Somehow. We'll bring them both in here because I don't want to use too many Mark 2s on this. So we're gonna have Mark 1s here. And uh, we're gonna merge them somewhere in here. I don't know. Exactly. Hi there, little buddy. Um, so our oh, platform will be in there. We need to get with them like here. -ish. Where are they? In there? Okay. You. Wow. Here we are, and the other guy in here, perfect, let's take care of our little platform, leaving some space in here for some water extractors, so we're gonna need three of those, I pretty much have enough space to put them in here, so if they're in there, I think that this line in here will be more than enough for us, let's test it out, okay? Let's put, I don't know, one in here, it doesn't snap, or if you sink one of these, you can snap them to the foundation, but we're not gonna do that today. Uh, give me that, one, two. That may indeed be water. Try submerging your arm. If it does not dissolve, that will narrow down the range of possibilities. Or you could just pipe it to a coal-powered generator and see what happens. Okay, we're gonna bring these two guys in here. That's two separate belts. Six stage, it is a bit. And we're gonna start putting our generators up from here. I think this is gonna be more than enough. We're gonna leave some space in here that water pipe is gonna go up top so i'm gonna start from the middle uh having here one of these doing this stuff and then my coal generator is gonna be stick inside of this lifting here h Like that. Yep, perfect. Interesting. Most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood their responsibility to humanity. Adjusting pioneer attitude metrics. Reminder coal powered generators require coal. I need another one of these. Good. Now, let's put in the merger first. The 
because we're gonna need to merge in here to merge those two belts i don't want to go in here with two belts so no way we're gonna do that uh like that i think it's gonna be good this one will have to be a mark two in here let's put the mark ones in here perfect uh these boys will have to be in here I said that I made it. Once we make this cold power happen here, I wanna I wanna go out. Okay, I wanna bring the Caterium make point farms. I wanna make so we're gonna slow it down. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh I wanna have my Caterium, I wanna have the quartz, I wanna have the silica, I wanna have a bunch of stuff in here, I wanna have my blades, it's it's not funny not being able to move fast enough or I don't know, jump high enough and without your blades, that's exactly what you're doing here, that's exactly what we are doing here, it is what it is, for the time being. It's not, it's good. So I shouldn't have placed those belts. Maybe I got it. Some of you for sure got it. This guy needs to be need to be lifts here. Okay. So we're gonna put those lifts right about now. Yep, it's good. Um actually yeah, let's put on like this. It's fine. Normally I put them from the whole generators in here, but it's actually the same thing. So before um, working any longer, I want these boys to have the power in here. I want these boys to get filled up with coal. So I'm gonna take that power line, which has the minus on it. Come with it somewhat straight in here. Perfect. Connect this to that. Because I want these boys to be filled up with water as well. Let's come with it in here. Perfect. And let's go bring the power. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough power for all of this. But that's a totally different story. We're gonna shut down some production in there. And call it good, you know. So this one, oh, I don't have that that thing on. Oh, we're just gonna leave it. No, oh, it doesn't look good at all, PNG. I don't have uh, those out wall outlets. I think they called a lot. So just gonna put it in here. Take it to the floor just like that. In the back in here. Because I don't want to ruin this stuff that I have here. Okay, let's go this line with it. On this line with it. And in here. No. Perfect. Well, it ain't that perfect, Edge. So something is wrong. Of course it is. What did you think? Uh how much was the consumption? 348. And we are making 240. Well, we could supplement those, but that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is cut down some production. That copper, we need it. Okay? It ain't needed. Let's try it again. Does it work with two miners and whatever we have in there? It does somewhat. Let's see if it cracks down again or not. Open it again. If we're not good, 
gonna cut this line in here. Actually, I think we can do that. Yeah, let's cut the iron production as well. Everything will be dead in here. And now we have all our production in there. The 240. Just to... Uh, those are still active. They, they're gonna get filled up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just to make that coal happen, you know? And the water. But the thing is, the coal is working now, we're pushing up the coal, it's gonna fill up those guys. Water is gonna be in there as well. So it's gonna be just fine. These things are gonna get filled up with the coal and the water. Those guys are green, that guy it is, that guy it is. I don't see the coal coming, but it's gonna come at some point. I'm not worried about it. Let's take care of the pipes here, okay? So, logistics. Okay. That guy gonna have to be on number six. Perfect. Uh, six, I think. A little in the front. This yeah, this is where it needs to be. Let's get a little up in here. Grab a pipe. Fix it pipelines can contain any fluid, including the water necessary for coal powered generators. Note water does not flow upwards by itself. While water extractors provide some lift to truly defy gravity, consider the use of pipeline pumps. Okay, we made the pipes happen. Now we need to make uh, a collection system in there. Let's do it like that. I'm gonna pure and simply connect it through that. I'm aware of the fact that that one passes through there. Should we make it different? Let's try and beautify it a little. We have pipeline supports in here. So let's put them in here, up, so one, two times up, okay, let's put another one in here, I don't think that the pipe would reach from here, but one, two, yeah, it's too long, okay, so, come, one, two, uh, that was too close in there, that way it didn't go in right. Uh, in here somewhere. Like that, he thinks. Okay, let's grab those and align that with this straight. This one is no longer needed. I'm looking for connections between the pipes, like this one. I don't want to have two pipes in here because fluids have issues. So we're gonna connect that to that. Now that pipe ain't gonna touch that valve, which is exactly what I want. No. Good, I think we have an extra support at the end. Let's take care of it. This guy. Goodbye. And now we'll connect these boys. This boys. Okay. One. Two. Three. The 
they will fill the pipe, they will feed into this guy, will feed the, those three and these guys, and this three and this guy and this three. That's the bit. Everything is gonna get saturated with water. These guys, those guys like. This coal is moving pretty good in here. Wonder how much coal we got inside these babies. Let's just check it out. Okay. This is filled up. This is filled up. Amazing. So we get to fill up. This one is gonna get filled up pretty soon. And then the rest. 39. So this guy should have something like 20. And this guy is like 5. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We're gonna wait for them to get filled up. I'm gonna bring this power points in here, but we're not gonna connect them until they're not filled up, sir. because that's the way to do it. Perfect. Well, now waiting here, okay. So each one of these is gonna take something like 15. If you put 8 multiplied by 15, it's 120. It's exactly what we have on the belt, okay? Each one of these guys is gonna take 35. Okay? So 35 multiplied by 8, that's 360. Each one of these guys makes 20. You see? When these guys are gonna be filled up with the buffer here, and all these guys will be filled up, all the water pipes, and all the coal generators are gonna be filled up. It's gonna be just perfect. So these guys have to be stopped when we're gonna start all the production. That means that the buffer in here, it's filled. It's gonna happen in a minute. And then uh, this lens will have to stop. That will mean that these boys are filled up. Only then, and only then, we're gonna start Cold and we're gonna see how much we're gonna have. We're gonna have 8 multiplied by 75, sorry. We're gonna have 600 of those tasty megawatts. At this point we have 240 out of those, so it's fine. We're gonna start our magigis and continue building it there. But for the time being, I'll take a little break while those are filling up the coal. Those guys are shutting down, meaning they're filled up with the water, which is just a standing. That means that this way is filled up almost. That one is filled up. So we only have three. This is gonna be the first one, and then those. I'm gonna wait for that to happen and be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so our coal generators are filled up. We can start everything up right now. Let's do that. Good stuff. We have 600 megawatts out of this boost. The um, the burners will stop those deliver only as much power as is needed uh, required by the network i should say so they will kick in only if we surpass this consumption of 600 that we have right now so it's cool it's very cool i came all the way in here because i want to start my production and see exactly how much power we are eating. So this is the iron. This is the coal. Everything will start working now. That guy and that guy. Okay. So we're still sitting pretty good. You see production is 600. Capacity it's 840 because we have 240 out of those guys. And maximum consumption is 350. So we can play let's say with 250. Uh, megawatts. Let's come in here and let's see. We need the basic steel production. Now, to do that, we need 50 module frames. Amazing. I forget 
about it. Completely forgot about it. Uh, okay. So let's unlock this one with what we have here. Do I have 50 of those? I only have 22 as a drop. Okay, I'm gonna place it in there for now. Let's grab a little more of that stuff. And let's take care of that modular frame production. I need more wire. Didn't have enough wire on me. What do you think about that? Uh, sorry, the other way around, page. Perfect. Now, in order to make those, let's see what recipes we have available. I think that the better recipe is in a manufacturer. We don't have that one yet. So we can make it this one or this one. This one implies rods, it's gonna give me two per minute. And this other one is the bolted one. It's gonna give me exactly five per minute. We only need 140 screws. Reminder, belt, 120. Okay, that's gonna be fixed at some point. Soon, I may add, and 7.5 reinforced plates. So, I think I wanna go with this recipe for now. And we're gonna make it happen. Okay. Uh, we're gonna work backwards, as always. Our products will come somewhere in here, but not in the first container. I want them in the second. The first container, this one, I want to leave it for the modulus, okay? So let's put in here the output belts as per usual. Let's bring those motors that we have in here. Being saving them. Let's just put like that. Uh, light space, thank you. I'm gonna put the motors in there. And in here we're gonna have being delivered. The module frames. Okay, good stuff. Let's keep on moving. Those, we don't have enough space in there, but we do have some space in here. Uh, I want to leave myself this place free in here. So we're gonna bring the ingots through the back in here, from the back in there. From that miner, there's doing nothing at this point. We can have the constructors in here. Okay. How many we don't know but what we do know is that we need can i fit that line through here let me see well we could bring it under so we could place it in there that means we can start our construction from here let's put our assembler in here and we're gonna start building from the other side because it's gonna be a lot easier for me. So, 7.5 reinforced plates and 140 screws, okay. We're gonna twist this boy up, put it in here, align with the other guy. 7.5 reinforced iron plates. I don't think I wanna use stitched because I don't wanna mess up their production in there. So, bolted plate, maybe? There's the one, 7.5. We're gonna need 45 plates, 125 screws. Again, a Mark III belt, it is what it is. And we're gonna need 140 screws. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, 140 screws, good stuff. So this belt from here is gonna come in here. Uh, mark two, Mark one, Mark one. Is this straight? It doesn't look straight now, does it? I bet it is, okay, good stuff. Uh, I could pull this one a little more in the front, so I'm gonna do that. Like that. Now it doesn't wanna go straight. How comes? Oh, we're just gonna leave it at default in that case. Uh, bolt it. 7.5 minute, please. Because that's more than enough for us. We're gonna need 125 screws. Now, I didn't want it to modify my production line, but the screws will be made at some point in here. 
with the help of steel beams because there is a recipe that is giving you like 100 screws per minute or even more at this point we don't have a choice we need 125 screws it's free of these boys okay uh we're gonna put our margins in here now this belt in here should be mark free but we don't have mark freeze okay it's gonna have to be like that no other choice for now cast 50 Cast crew 50, cast crew 25. We have, let's say, our 125 screws. Now we're gonna need 45 plates. Okay, 45 plates. That means another three of these guys. One is making 20, one is making 20. And one is making five. Okay. Let's put this margins in here. Exiting that one to my left. This gate is exiting forward in here. And this gate is exiting forward in here. Being only 45, a mark one belt is more than enough for them. Uh, this guys are not properly placed. And this belt will have to merge, it will have to come into this. Belt. So we have our forty five arm. And we have a uh, 125 screws now this boy will also need 140 screws so guess what another mark free belt coming up 140 screws we're gonna make them always in here first one is gonna make 40 This guy is going to make 50, and this guy is going to make 50, okay? Now, let's merge them going the other way. One, two, and three. And here, we can leave with mark ones. This is 50. This is 100. And this is the rest is going to have to be marked too for now, no other choice. Circling around and going uh, through here. Because we need the feed line in there, let's not forget about it. Okay, now let's take care of the feed line. That one will have to come through here. So better delete this one because I want the other one straight. We're gonna put a mark two lift in here. I'm gonna connect it to that belt somehow. So it's gonna have to be turned like that. Pushing stuff that this boys will have to be mark free as well. So our main belt with ingots should come through here okay let's see how many ingots now because i don't know is it gonna be enough or not that one will have to be like that uh, let's put the splitters in and count afterwards Good stuff, I think it's about time we started counting. So, it's 10 in here, 
12.5 in here, 12.5 in here, right? So there's 25, 35 Antonel. Uh, here we go. 35 plus 7.5 plus. How much? 30, 60. Fraction. 6.25, Jesus Christ. Uh, twelve point five and twelve point five. Yep. So plus twenty five. <laughs> we were lucky enough to have just a little of one twenty. Okay. So it's cool. We can do that. We'll have to sacrifice another slot, but it is what it is. You know. We're gonna have to come with two belts in here, just not to modify this one. We're just wait until it's gonna be mark free but I don't want to wait until it's gonna be mark free we're just gonna come at it like this and we're gonna double it afterwards okay this is our input. This boy will have to provide the hundred thirty something. Let's see, a hundred thirty four. So let's go sacrifice this lab from the beginning. I made three just to have another two on me, not to repeat that adventure again. Okay. So you grab one, one, three, four. Is that correct? Yes, it is correct. Good stuff. Uh, give me that. Come on. Okay, H. Perfect. This one should be a mark three, but we don't have. That is what it is. We're gonna need five for this, I believe. Okay, so I decided to leave this one marked too. When we're gonna have uh, the mark three, we're gonna make it the mark three. This one should make only 14 here. So it's good. We have 120 ingots passing not through that rock. Snaking through here and going in. Good stuff. Let's take care of that power because that's really important. Uh, this one comes straight from under me. Perfect. So we're gonna need one between these guys. And then, I don't know. Everywhere. Okay, so um, we have in here our 120 ingots. At some point, we're gonna have our module frames coming up. It's only five, so a mark one gift should be more than enough. We're gonna bring it down like that. We're gonna bring that one down. That one gotta be modified. So that one gotta be brought down. I don't see it. Shit. Well, let's make ourselves a platform here. Because this one ain't going my way. That one gotta be my way. You know that. So you gonna have to be like that. That guy gotta get down. Let's hope that our belt will be long enough because I cannot suspend belts. I cannot even see it properly. I think it should be like that. Gotta get closer.
Oh, that's why I don't see it. Because it's in the rack in there. Oh, I don't like it being in the rack, mister. How should we do that? It's in the rack. Well, I didn't anticipate that. If it's in the rack, I ain't gonna do it like that, mister. I ain't gonna do it like that, for sure. Okay, let's modify it differently. I'm gonna come with that build as far as we can in here and put the lift in here and then go down with it, you know? Well, now that's a little bit of a trick. That guy will have to merge into that guy. So, it doesn't reach. Well, unfortunately, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't unlock what we need in here. We need those poles that you can put them up top. So we'll just have to do this until we're gonna have those poles. No other choice. Well, this is somewhat straight. We really need those, um, that was some chunk, you know? So, this boy is making somewhat the reinforcement base. Well, somewhat, yes. Let's remind ourselves only 120 on this. It needs to be a mark free. It is what it is. That boy is getting healing filled up. These boys are barely getting filled up in here. It is gonna be like a millennium until it's gonna be filled up here, but it is what it is. This boy already doesn't have ingots, exactly. This boy has them because it's only making 7.5 per minute, but the rest of them, they're starving for ingots. It is what it is. Okay, so this three are going that way. And these others are going this way. Uh, I think this one needed to be... That one needed to be a Mark III. That one in the back circling around. This guy needed to be a Mark III as well. Ain't gonna put two belts on it. No. It's gonna stay like that. 140 screws. No screws in there. You know why? Because the screws is the less free guys in there. So it's gonna take a bunch of time. For that thing to get filled up. It is what it is. At some point, we're gonna... We're gonna have our five modular frames per minute. It ain't gonna be five, it's gonna be more like three at this rhythm because we're not even able to transport all the ingots. That boy is not able to put out his 130 something ingot or because this one only transforms 120. This belt needs mark three. A lot of stuff needs to change around right here, but for the time being, it is what it is. We need that basic steel production. The good news is that we can make them in here, those modular frames. Just to hurry it up a little, you know? So I'm gonna do those that I can, put them in there, and start making that steel. Because when I'm gonna have the steel, we're gonna have those steel ingots on our platform in here. And I'm gonna cut down that production that we just did. Uh, what do I need more? Oh, right, sorry. Just to make those screw screws happen with the, um, the alternate recipe. The one that is made from a steel beam. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. But for the time being, we don't have any choice, okay? It is what it is. Okay, I made all those frames at hand. Peasant, I know. Milestone reached. Coal and iron can be combined in the foundry to start steel production. Project part number two, the versatile framework, can only be created via automation, not at a crafting bench. Delivering these to the space elevator is essential if we are going to complete phase two of project assembly and save the day. 
Fix it, and humanity is relying on you. Amazing, isn't it? Let's put down our first foundry. So, we got this one, which is the normal recipe. 45, 45, so we're gonna need like three of them. Or, we got the alternate, which is even better. It's always 40 and 40, but it's giving you 60. We're still gonna need three of them, but we're gonna have to smell the iron first. It's fine, we're gonna need 120 iron and 120 coal. We have 120 coal in there because we have two normal nodes, and it's a pure node, which, guess what, 120 iron. So, I'm gonna need three foundries. That means somebody's gonna have to do more of these audio frames because they're not coming that fast. Now to have three of these, so we're gonna need three of this. I wanna bring the steel ingots in here, okay? Um, we're gonna have <laughs> 180. So again, impossible to transport with our limited potential right now with Mark. Is that gonna stop me? No, it ain't. It is what it is. Uh, it's gonna be addressed or something. We're gonna need three of those, two for the coal, one for the iron, and a bunch of Mark II belts. That's, this is what I need. So I need to produce in here 20 more of those. Let me get it done. Okay, so we have just about everything we need on us. Let me take a bunch of these guys because we're gonna need the mark to build to come all the way until here with the products. Products being the stealing guts, of course. And uh, have you made at least one? Do you have at least five spruces? Yeah, yeah. Well, somewhat going, let's call it. Is good. Let's get down there and start making our stuff, shall we? So we said that everything was happening somewhere in there. I want to keep the same grid because I want to take them up, up top in there. So that base will have to be exactly the same grid as this one. Now, is this one going to be high enough? I don't think so. Let's make another one. Let's go with one minute foundation there. Here, two colonels in the air, and I don't know, it was somewhere over here, up here, maybe. I don't know, but this is going to be our building platform for now. At some point, we're gonna make it a little bigger, of course, but for now, it's gonna have to be like this. So, those two will have to be punched. Let's see. I think it's good enough. Let's put one miner in there. Come on, buddy. Go away. Perfect. Another one facing. Whatever. In there. Can I make that happen? Yes. Perfect. Good stuff. So, we'll have a merger in here somewhere. Um, let's put. So, each one of you is making 60. Oh my god, that's so puny. Okay. Uh, I want to put that one straight in that case. As straight as it can be. Uh, no. Lift. And lift in here. They're overlapping, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Delete that guy. Again. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, bring it in there, for example. Uh, magic. Good stuff. Let's see about our iron. Is it up here or not? Yes, it is. Exactly. In there. Uh, let's invent some ramps. In here somewhere so this is a pure node which is perfect
I think we're gonna need some power in here. Okay, let's take care of the smelt. So we have 120 iron coming down here. We're gonna need the smelt, okay? We're gonna put that one in there, let's call it. Perfect. And let's start placing smelters in here. Okay. Each one of these boys will have to do ironing it, of course. And now take that and this and put them into farmers, okay? We're gonna need three of them. We want our products somewhere in the back in there, I believe, so we can go as much as we want with that piece. Uh, I don't think I wanna put them like that, so let's just place them like this. Yeah, that one can circle around, this one can go through here, it's gonna be just fine. Let's add a little more foundations in here to this platform. Okay, first one is gonna be with the iron. It's straight perfect. Let me put the recipe in. Solid steel ingot. 40 and 40. Perfect. This is what we need. Now we're gonna have to deliver the coal. Let's try and make it beautiful. No, it ain't gonna work. Okay, good stuff. Uh, you go in there. I cannot see the lights. You go in there. You go in there. Okay, more. One default. Default for you. Default for you, mark two for you. Now this one. And it's just gonna be like that, you know? So we're gonna have 108 ingots. As soon as we put power in these boys, which is gonna happen right now. Okay, 180, perfect. Um, huh. Where are they getting close to the power? Okay, we have 501 megawatts consumption. We're producing 600. Amazing, I know. Uh, let's bring them out from here. And now, gotta go with them all the way up top. Now, I would really prefer not to use them. Okay. I'm not sure I wanna bring a platform from there, under here, and then send them up top because it's gonna look really nasty. But at the same time, if I go with them from here, in there, I still gonna have to lift them up, so traces you know um, all of this is gonna be modified so let's go with him with them as it from here okay so we're gonna modify this one just take them out straight now I'm gonna try and go with um sorry straight from here Okay, now, in here we're gonna have a wall going up top, just to know where to stop that thing. I'm gonna have one of these in here, and I'm gonna have a lift exactly in the middle of this, because I'm gonna put a floor hole in here, 
when I'm gonna have access to it and connect with it up top in there just to make it beautiful for now we don't have access to that thing so we're gonna go in here I believe with it for now it's not center doesn't matter it's gonna be at some point okay let's just go up that way now we're gonna see where exactly are we gonna end up up top so let's say from here feeding through here okay we're gonna have one eight okay we don't truly care about this space we can bring some more iron if we need it but in here is gonna be our steel production we have 180 in theory in reality we got only 120 but we know it's gonna be 180 uh we're gonna need those and we're gonna need the beams beginning of the game you need more beams after that you need more pipes this is gonna be modified as we want uh, what we're building in here is not only for our production at some point i'm gonna have in here foundries excuse me foundry i don't have those and in this foundry i have an alternate recipe that takes uh i think the stilling gets in the limestone no, it's taking iron, the coal, and some limestone to make even more of this amazing ingots. But that's gonna happen always in there. Yeah, this we're gonna have a lot of ingots in here. Nevertheless, we're gonna balance this for 180. Okay, so we're gonna have in here. Let's make it balanced actually. So we're gonna have 30. This takes we're gonna have 60 ingots the pipes. Uh, pipes so that will give me 40 pipes and then we're gonna have two more of these ones making memes 60 into 50 16 to 50 that will give me 16 gets 16 gets 13 gets 13 gets that's the one weighty 180 we are producing and as a result we're gonna have 40 pipes now we're gonna have 30 beams. It is what it is. This is what we have right now. So let's make those splitters happen. Because we need to produce those as soon as possible. Now, since we can only transport 120, I'm gonna make it so that I have some pipes and some beams. Okay. So this is 60. It's very good. We can live with that. Uh, because it's taking fret in each each that this one here is gonna be kind of filled up in the end of our belt basically I'm gonna make a mark too just to fill up that line but that doesn't mean they're gonna work you know the last one basically both of them are gonna work at 50 percent it is what it is for the time being it's gonna have to suffer in silence Okay, let's take care of the exits. Now, let's not forget that these guys will have to be delivered in the front. And, uh, pff, I don't know, do something with it. But for the time being, I'm just gonna leave them in here. Maybe make that one a merger. Yeah, that will be just a standing. Because I don't know where exactly to put them up front. And I don't know how to do it. At this point. I think underneath will be the best thing ever. But as I told you, for the time being, they're just gonna have to stay here. It is what it is. I'll collect them from these boxes. And uh, we're gonna live with it, you know? It is having access to this amazing stuff in here. Is gonna give me access to our blueprints and our nightmares will be over here. Ok, 
Okay, with the blueprints, I can build really easy, really fast, whatever I need. So we will be able to go and do whatever we want, basically. I'm gonna have finally, finally, uh, the quartz, the sulfur, the caterium, everything. I'm gonna be able to make my blades. That's what we always wanted, okay? This is what we are waiting for. So we have the steel. Now we kind of need that or that. What should we go on first? I think we should go for the logistics mark free. Because even if I unlock that one first, which we could totally do, most likely we have in here already. No, we have 48. Um, our factory will not be balanced. So we're just gonna go with that. We're gonna wait in there to have those 200 and those 400 whatever keep 200 of those on me perfect and uh, I don't know put them in there send up the mark for logistics and I'll send that one up by myself the next time you're gonna log in uh, this one will not be here because I'm gonna have a mark free belt the one in the back is gonna be a mark free belt I don't even remember the one with the screws in there so this one will be gone the one with the screws in the back will be mark free this will be all mark free those will be mark free that will be mark free just like it should be you know and everything will work properly also um i think i think i will also unlock the awesome shop without you guys because i'm already recording this one today and i need to play it okay i'm dependent okay it's it's an addiction so i need to play this game i need to have stuff to do this is episode four is gonna come out for you i don't know in about five six days from now so what do i do in the meantime you know I mean, no, I, I I need it in my life, sorry. So I'm gonna unlock this milestone with the logistics mark free, fix all the factory, and then unlock the wasm shop. Fix that ugly belt underneath, fix everything in here, try and beautify those, that will give me something to do there. And uh, I'll do the best with what I have gotta check this one because this is not a full mark to build something is going bad in there most likely I did something wrong but those guys did not get it filled out properly well I'm gonna have to go and do that guys we're gonna leave this one here thank you so much for being here for watching this if you like it don't forget to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you want to see more and if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourself an amazing membership. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you.